All right, now we're going to create the footer element. This element is going to have some text in there, but we also want to create a float system uh, to control how all this stuff is laid out. This is going to be really a creative exercise to give you the opportunity to really see how powerful style sheets really are. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and type in some information. So I'm just going to type in 1-800-555-5555. Okay, now you can't see any of this, so I'm going to highlight all of this text and choose paragraph. And there you go, it shows up. Okay, I'll hit spacebar, and then I'm going to type in copyright, and I'm going to leave that copyright symbol in there until we get it figured out here. We'll say 2007 Rockwell, okay, something like that. What I want to have is this text right here, I want it on the right. But you notice it's either the right or the left. I don't get to a, a choice to do both. Well, to do that, I'm going to have to create a new style. And um, I'm going to embed this right on this page because I'm, I'm not worried about uh, modifying any of this. I can Later, I, I'll show you how to create something called a library element, which will be pretty cool. So I'm going to select all of this text, okay? And I'm going to go to my code view. Actually, I'll go to split so you can kind of see what's happening with it. All right. So here is my, my text. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay. And just kind of clean house a little bit. Okay. There's no need to put an alignment tag in there. So here's what this looks like. All right. I've got just my standard 1-800 number. If I refresh, you'll see it down here. My 1-800 number. And I need to now add. So I'll paste. And now watch what happens when I refresh. Here's my text, okay, but it's not in a P tag. So I'll go ahead and put it, uh, wrap around a P tag. Okay, and just close that. So as you can see, let me refresh. There it is. Now, here's where the magic is going to come in. What I want to do is send this to the side over here, okay? And it's kind of goofy. You have to put in everything on, on the right side first, and then the left side will come in. And the way we're going to do this is with a div tag. And a div tag is nothing more than a, a fictitious container. So I'll say div, okay? That's how you start a div tag, and I'll choose bracket slash and that's how you close a div tag okay so nothing unusual it's just pretty much made it a container for something and what I'm gonna put inside of this div tag is a style so I'll say style equals colon float right now take a look at that code okay and what this is saying is, I want you to take everything inside of this container and shoot it to the right side. So let's refresh. And you can see we end up with a really, really nice, clean header without a whole lot of work. Okay. Lastly, what I want to do is add a little bit of styling to this table row. So if I choose this TD tag, as you can see here, it's really tight. Okay, right here, this TD we can actually add a style directly to that. And um, instead of adding it here, let me actually add it to my style sheet. Okay, so I'll just make a brand new, uh, this will be a class tag. Okay, I'll call this my footer padding. Okay, and the option that we're going to choose is uh, let me see my notes here we're going to look for a padding of 10 uh, pixels so let's see here padding we're gonna say 10 pixels 
apply. Okay. And by adding this footer padding, we can now go back later and tweak it if we want to. Right? So let's go to my design view so I can show you how this looks when we add this. Okay, there's, I'm going to look for this TD tag right there. And on my style, I'm going to choose footer padding. There we go. So now I've added a nice little bit of padding all the way around this particular cell. Nowhere else does that 10 padding exist. Okay, so I could easily go in here and change this to 20 if I wanted to be really aggressive on my padding. Okay, and notice it doesn't affect anything else. Okay, so we'll take that back to 10. That looks pretty good. Now that is using a float and a cell style sheet. So now you're starting to get, maybe get the hang of this that you can put style sheets around practically anything. Why did I create this div tag? Okay, let me go back to my code here. A div tag is nothing more than a divider. It's saying these things are grouped together. Okay, so in this instance I said this div is a grouping and take everything here and send it over to the right. And that's why it sent everything over and it kept everything nice and clean. All right, that's how you can use cascading style sheets within even cells to format.